Hey guys, it's Rochelle. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get into this wig. It's HD Lace, clean, pre-plucked hairline, straight from the box. All right, so let's get into the wig. And this wig that I'm rocking today, it's a kinky straight wig, 22 inches, and it's 180 density. Now, are you seeing the knots on it? It's super tiny pre-plucked 360 wig so i'm giving a 360 wig a chance today you guys and it does have invisible adjustable elastic bands on the back of it so that way you can wear it in an updo or you can wear the wig glueless now the knots are super super fine so i don't need to bleach the knots it looks great it's pre-plugged pre-bleach and i'm here for that I've worn their wigs in the past and what I do like about it, it is beginner friendly. So if you don't wanna have to tweeze your hairline, bleach the knots, you don't have to do that. I love how the hairline looks. I don't think I need to do any tweezing to it. So now I'm gonna go in with my flat iron and just straighten out the hair a bit because the kinky hair, they usually come a bit on the crimpier side. Now I don't want it to be super bone straight. So it's still gonna have some texture in it when I straighten it. And I'm just gonna straighten it. You guys know how to straighten hair already. And all I did was apply some Chi hair serum to the hair. Now I'm gonna move on to tinting the lace. I'm taking a foundation that I usually use for my base and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over the lace. So because this is a 360 wig, I'm applying it on the back as well. Then I go in with my scissors and cut off the extra lace at the back. So that's what it looks like when you cut the lace off at the back. The wig has adjustable straps, so I'm gonna put the adjustable straps on so that way the wig can fit my head perfectly when I apply it. Now we're gonna move on to the ball cap. And as you can see, I'm tinting the ball cap as well. That way it gives that scalp look when I apply my wig. So I'm gonna pop that wig on my head. Usually I don't show the back, but I want you guys to see the back. I use the combs in the back to make sure that everything is fitting on the back of my head. So right now it's fitting on my head, but I will tell you this right now, this wig is a tad bit big for my head. I do have a very small head. Yeah, so I kind of have a peanut head. The wig size is about 22 inches, 22 around circumference, and my head size is around 21. So it's a bit big, even though it has the adjustment straps. I already know that to put it up, it's going to be too big for my head. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut off all the extra lace. And are you seeing the lace? The lace is so thin on this wig. I'm living for how thin the lace is. This is like really, really thin HD lace. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe off my forehead and I use a makeup wipe and then I'm gonna go in with some lace glue. Now you don't have to use lace glue if you don't want to, but I was gonna go for some glue today. This wig can be worn glueless as well with just by wearing the adjustment straps. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pop that lace on. Before you do that, make sure the lace glue is dried clear. As you can see, the glue is no longer white, so it's nice and clear. And I went in with my blow dryer on the cool setting and I'm just going to melt down that lace. Add a bit more lace to the very front. I kept the hairline more like a V shape because I wanna give it a more natural shape. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the side as well. Apply the glue to the side. Wait for that glue to dry clear. Go in with my blow dryer and then just pop that lace down and melt it down hairline is super clean on this wig and it's seamless undetectable and i'm here for that i love when you get a good hd lace and it's like real hd and it's super thin and like i said this wig is beginner friendly because it's pre-plucked and i know plucking the hairline can be a little bit annoying for most people even though i know how to do it i don't always like doing it so i like when my wigs are like you know i can just pop them on my head and i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side as well so it's very repetitive so apply the glue on the other side wait for it to dry clear now Again, like I said, the wig was just a tad bit big for my head. And they're 360 wigs. Um, they start at 22. So I kind of wish they had smaller wigs because I would really, really love to try a 360 wig and be able to put it up. Now, I would say for 360 wigs, if you want to wear it in a high ponytail, 180 density might be a bit much. I would probably do like a 150 density if I'm going to do a 360 wig and wear it up in like a high bun or something the hair i feel like the hair should be a little bit thinner because it'll look more realistic that way 
This is how I secure my wigs when they're a little bit big for my head. I go ahead and I use some bobby pins and just pop them in at the back of the wig because sometimes the comb is just not enough and I need a little bit more security in the back. So I just pop the bobby pins in. Now, as you can see, I'm going to go in with my hot comb just to flatten down that wig. And honey, this hairline, like it looks really, really, really amazing. I'm very impressed with the lace on this wig. And I'm just going to go in with some hair mousse and just melt down this wig and just brush it back using my edge brush you guys know I'm not super big on baby hairs I'm not and I don't really know how to do them that well but I also don't think they suit me that well either but you know it's a preference thing I know some of you guys love them so I'm going to go ahead and take out some tiny little bit so I do like just a little just a little more natural realistic for my face frame I feel like when they're too extra I don't know it just doesn't suit me that well but I'm gonna go in with my scissors and my brush and just cut some little hair and just brush it out of the way I have my makeup on so yeah this is pretty much the completed look I'm gonna leave the wig just like this in a center part but I could definitely wear it half up half down but as for wearing it all the way up I wouldn't be able to do that just because it's just a little bit big for my head but I have seen other videos where people wear the wig up with the adjustable straps and it looks really 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 amazing but yeah you should definitely check out those videos and that's how long the hair is on me but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you learned something from it so i'll see you guys in another video very soon i love you guys and thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel bye